Now it's time to start thinking about putting some materials on our little robot character. At this stage they're only really placeholders and we're using them to create the material slots that we'll need when we get him into Unreal Engine. But it also makes it easier to work with because we know what he will look like when he gets into Engine. So we'll start with creating some fairly basic materials in this step. But the first thing I'm going to do is just make my workspace a little easier to view by getting rid of these image planes. They've served their purpose now. So I'm going to click on Show. And I can now just click here for image planes or you can see I can press Alt and 4 as well to get rid of them. Now what I'm going to need is my Hypershade. So let's open that up. And I just want to make sure that I can see the Stingray PBS is available in my Hypershade menu. If it's not, you need to load the plugin, um, Google how to do that, or drop a comment below the video if you're not sure how to do that. But there you go, I can see that Stingray's there for me, so that's no problem. I'm also just going to add a viewport to my Hypershade so that I can see what I'm doing. So we'll go to Window, Viewport, oh interesting, and I want to drop this just here. Where did Create go? Ah, oh, there we go. So now I'll just make that viewport a little bit bigger and I'm going to press 6 so that I can see when I apply my materials. The first material we'll create is going to be a glossy white plastic, something that looks very Apple from the early 2000s. So we'll create a new Stingray PBS for that. I'm going to name all of these, so I'm going to call this M underscore white. The M denotes that this is a material. And then we just create what we want here. So I want it to be white. So we'll drag that slider all the way across. And I want it to be glossy. So we're going to drop the roughness all the way down. And that's basically it. That's all we need to do there. And then we can apply that to all the elements of our model that need the glossy plastic. So I'm just going to drag and drop it with my middle mouse button onto the part of the model that I intend to have this material. And for the hands to save myself a job, I'm just going to select all the pieces like that. And we'll just right click and do assign material to selection. And same on this side, assign material to selection. And for the head, even though I don't want the glossy material on the screen, I'm just going to drop it on everything for now. And then we'll overwrite the screen later when we create that. That's the first material created and applied then. The next one we want is the metallic looking one. So let's clear our work area. We'll create a new Stingray. I'm going to call this one M underscore Chrome, which is just going to be a nice shiny metal for us. So our base color wants to be a shade of gray, but we might change that. The metallic we're going to change to one. You see that makes a big difference straight away. And the roughness is going to come down because we want this to be really shiny. Something like that looks nice. And then you can experiment with the different base colors. I want it to be quite a light color, so we'll try that. And then, as I did before, I need to apply this to the parts of the model that needs it. So these two here. Also those. Uh, these parts of the leg. And these here. And... Finally, I think we just need them on the antenna. Okay, that's coming together. Just realized that because this is a new viewport, it's showing me the image plane, so I'm just going to turn those off because I don't need them in this view either. There we go. And the last material I will need is going to be like a black sort of rubbery kind of material. So we'll clear our workspace again. We're going to have another stingray. We're going to call it M underscore rubber. There we go. So this one's going to be black, and I'm just going to take it slightly so that it's not perfectly black. And then the roughness needs to be a bit higher. Let's try 0 0.7. Pretty nice. I might actually just bring uh, the color down a touch. Yeah. And then we just need to assign this to the remaining pieces. So it's mostly going to be these joining pieces. And then just get his little tummy. And we're going to assign material to selection. There we go. So now let's just minimize our hypershade for a second and see if we're happy with him. So you can see 
I'm not seeing any materials here yet, and that's because I still have the shaded view on, which is this one here, smooth shade all. What I really need is um, the textured view. So you can click on the icon there, or just press six on your keyboard, and that'll bring that through. So you can see we've got our metallic areas, we've got the white glossy areas, and we've got the black rubber looking areas. So that will do it for this step then. In the next one, we're going to work on the face, and for that we're gonna to need to bring in a texture, do some simple UV mapping, create the material, and then apply it to those faces. So let's move on to that. I'm able to continue making these videos thanks to the ongoing support of my amazing Patreon community. If you'd also like to support Game Dev Academy via Patreon, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you.